Welcome back to Krakow guys. So we've just finished our little walk around the castle. So if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. But what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to the old uh, market square to explore some of the old town of Krakow today. is the main square, so that's where I head now. Lunch time. So, there's a Hard Rock Cafe. I know it's not exactly traditional, but we went to Hard Rock Cafe in Prague, so it feels almost like it's part of our, our winter getaway tradition. We go there for lunch. I like the cold slot. <laughs> so, last night we went for dinner, Elena was just like, I want coleslaw for dinner. Just nothing else. I want no, coleslaw. Nothing else is really it was a mouth for good coleslaw. What? Let's go find the hard rock. Hopefully we've got some good coleslaw then. This is St Mary's Church. It's a cool story about that. We'll tell you later on after we've grabbed a bit of lunch. <laughs> grabbed a bit of lunch. Grabbed a bit of coleslaw. <laughs> A little longer than a few minutes later. Ah, there's so many pigeons. I actually hate them. Too many pigeons. So we've been fed and watered. We went to a very traditional restaurant, the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah. And thought now that we're nice and uh, freshened up, it's time to go for a wandering old town of Krakow. So we're here in the middle of the main square. So if you want to give a little pan around, Lainey. Panorama coming up. So it's the largest uh, square in terms of market squares in Europe, apparently. Yeah, so this is only, gorgeous. this is just one side of it. The other side is where all the markets are. Yeah, so this looks massive. But basically is this again on the other side of this building here. It's called the Claw Hall, which we'll talk about later on. Yeah, we're going to go under there actually. Yeah, but the first thing we'd like to talk about is that building there. So that's St. Mary's Church. St. Marie? What's odd about it is the towers are like different sizes. So yeah. apparently if you ask anyone locally, they'll tell you about this kind of kind of rumour, almost a bit of a horrible story. Yeah. I don't think it's don't know if it's actually true or not. But apparently there's two brothers that were commissioned to build the two towers on either side of it. And the younger brother, when he noticed that his brother had built a larger tower than him, he was just raging. So apparently he murdered him. <laughs> and he was so like racked by guilt. Um, when they eventually opened the church, he killed himself. So the knife that he used to kill his brother and that he killed himself with is apparently hanging somewhere in the square. And the lady knows where it is, don't you? I know where it is. You ought to show us where it is. It's a cheery story, isn't it? It's a very cheery story, yeah. Not, not the nicest of stories to um, start with, Gary, but, you know. explain the, the trumpets. About every half hour, um, there's a trumpet song that they play from the larger of the two towers. And it's, I don't know um, if I can hear. In honour of a guy that like, kind of blew a trumpet, like played the song when um, it was getting attacked by some some Mongols, um, and they shot him when he was when he was playing the song. So, in kind of honour of him, they never finish it. Oh, that's the story. But I also read that actually. Half the tune gets played here, and half it used to get played in a tower on the other side of the city. Mm -hmm. And if they replied, then all was fine. But that's the story, apparently. They only yep. play half and the song. And they never finish it, yeah. They apparently play half the song in honour of this guy who got shot and was sounding a warning. Gary knows all the stories. I know all the stories. But anyway, do you want to show us where this life is, Lady? Yep. Okay, Lady, let's go. gruesome, isn't it? Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go under the ground now. 
growing in the ground now. So yeah, apparently the whole town square it used to be like a couple of meters lower down than it is now. Like they rebuilt it. So you can, they now do tours where you can get to see underground of what it used to look like, and there's like interactive kind of museum bits and stuff. Tickets! Woo! So our, so our tickets aren't for another hour yet, so we're going to just wander about a little bit more uh, before we go under. But there's something else I'd like to point out, Lane. You see that big statue thing over there? Yeah. It's a big head. Locally, it's just called the head. Apparently, it's like the meeting point for all the locals. Like, oh, who do you want to meet tonight? Oh, just just the head. <laughs> See you at the head. But it's one of the best places to take pictures, apparently. So there it is, the head. Do you want to run inside it, Lady? You scared? Then I go inside the big creepy metal head. <laughs> it is really spooky. Apparently, there's like no significance behind it. It's just an artist said they want to do a big head. Why not? Yeah, exactly. So the next thing to talk about in the main square is this big building here that goes right in the middle of the square. Lane, do you remember what it's called? The Cloth Hall. The Cloth Hall indeed. We're not going to try and say the Polish name for it because we'll just absolutely destroy it. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't tell it to you to say if I don't know how to say it myself. <laughs> so it's like the... Apparently it's the first kind of mall, like shopping mall. Oh. So it was built for local cloth traders, hence the name Cloth Hall. It's lovely, there's lovely wee shops and down, we went in the middle there where there's like loads of little um, Yeah, so when, it, when Elaine was taking us to go and see the knife, we walked through the middle of it. Yeah. But it's like somewhere that basically cloth traders were, were to sell their goods. Um, and now it's kind of just open to kind of like crafts and kind of local stuff. So what we'll do, we'll go for a little wander about there for, for an hour before we get into the underground and show you some of the cool stalls and things. Yeah, but it's a, cozy. But it's a really, really beautiful building. And it just divides the square in two. And when it's lit up at night, it looks absolutely incredible. We'll put in a picture of it just now of what looks lit up at night, but it's beautiful. Do you want to lead on to the shops, lady? So Amber's apparently the local gemstone, so that's why there's so many of these shops just sell it. It's everywhere. All the stuff is so beautiful. And they've got lots of like different sculptures. It's a horse, a dragon. Elephants. Tiny elephants. elephants. She does. Do you want a wee elephant? I treat you to a wee Christmas elephant. <laughs> Disney. Like that is just a big Cogsworth clock right there, if I ever did see one. Lainey, I just found Cogsworth. Yeah. Cogsworth, the clock, look. This one here, look. Look. Cogsworth. And there's a... Uh, very different looking Lumiere. <laughs> Fancy looking Lumiere. You just had a look round through the inside. There's also loads of shops on the outside as well. You could literally spend the whole afternoon just looking at all these amazing shops. Like some of the stuff is absolutely beautiful. So we'll probably just visit a couple more shops and then it'll be about time for a tour of the underground, which I'm very much looking forward to. Just thing you dig stuff up here. Good job. So in our last video, there's a little model of the castle. This is a model. This is a model of the whole old town of Krakow. Said so that little Game of Thrones. This. It's like Game of Thrones. 
This is a castle. We got from near to the old town. And that bit right in the middle, just under that just now. The lanes are looking very serious. It's a 180 degree presentation as well, which is about to start, I think. Thoughts so far, Lainey? I don't, I don't mean it's, I don't mean the presentation of the, the museum. It's cool. You don't look very convinced. I don't know. It's not what I expected. Yeah, it's less of a kind of. I thought it'd be like a tour in like the old underground of Krakow, but it's more just like a tour through history, like medieval times mainly. Yeah, this makes me feel very dizzy. It's like I'm on a carousel. So it's a bit more like what I was expecting. I think they started with that exhibition thing. I was like, have we not seen like the old buildings and stuff? But yeah, once you get past the buildings, you see all the old stuff, and it's very, very cool. So it's lots of pictures of what it like when they're excavating in 2006. It's like that's the current cloth hall, and this is the old stalls that they've excavated. It's absolutely amazing that this was just buried. <laughs> Yes, I'm digging it all up. So we're back here in the main town square. We've finished up with the underground exploration. What yeah. do you think? I mean, it, it was cool. cool. Uh -huh. I think really in my mind, it's like, oh, we're going on an underground tour, but it was more like a museum, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. I think I thought we were going like underground tunnels and stuff, which we were to an extent, but started off like a medieval history exhibition, which was cool, but... It was really dark, so I couldn't read all the signs. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. I would recommend going. It's, it's pretty cheap, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, and it's quite cool to kind of see what Town Square used to be like and how people used to live here and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed our little random video of the kind of old town of Krakow. So I think it's time for us to enjoy some more Christmas markets, get a cup of tea, and we'll see you in the next one.